Steve Barclay is absolutely useless as a health secretary, and on today's morning round, he made himself look like a fool. If he'd known about the story of Rishi Sunak when Chancellor blocking five hospitals being rebuilt because they were falling down, I would have imagined he would have refused to go live on air. Instead, it's clear that he was quickly told what to say, and when it was put under scrutiny, he didn't have an answer for him. Instead, he just kept claiming the record funding. It always seems to be record funding this, or world beating that. But they have put record funding in, and then pop out a very large figure to make it sound more impressive than it really is. Oh, and where are actually these 40 new hospitals they promised? He failed to acknowledge that people have been affected by the delays, claiming they were just under review, and sticking to his pre-prepared lines of record funding, even though it was three years after the hospital in question needed the work done. Can I, can I get you to, to confirm a story which is in this morning's Guardian newspaper, that three years ago, when Rishi Sunak was Chancellor, uh, he blocked plans by the Department of Health to, to rebuild five hospitals that are affected by crumbling concrete? Well, what Rishi Sunak as Chancellor put in place was a £700 million fund uh, for VAC replacement. That was put in place from 2021. Uh, in fact, we were on this issue early. We were surveying hospitals from 2019. Uh, and we've been following the Institute for Structural Engineers' advice, which is that not all VAC has to be replaced. What we need to do is monitor it, assess it, uh, and where there is a concern with deterioration, then it does need to be replaced. And that's why a £700 million fund so, so those five hospitals that, that the, the Department of Health had said it, it wanted help rebuilding were put onto the list of let's do a bit more research, let's put them on the back burner. But then across those five hospitals, there are more than 100 incidents where the actual state of the hospital led to clinical services being delayed or cancelled in the year after that decision was made by you and Rishi Sunak not to add them to the rebuilding programme. Well, will you apologise to patients who didn't have their operations because the building was crumbling around them? Well, as I've just said, we put in place a £700 million fund to make replacements uh, to that. We commissioned further work. We commissioned further work into Matt McDonald in terms of the extent of that. Uh, yeah. But we were on this issue early. We've been surveying the site. We've but it had a funding. It like you're on this issue early. I mean, this was three years and that ago. Is already clear. The NHS was asking. These were these were five hospitals. I'll tell you which ones they are in case you've forgotten. Airedale General Hospital in Keithley, Hitchinbrook Hospital in Cambridgeshire, Frimley Park in Surrey, Leighton Hospital in Cheshire, and Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth Hospital in Norfolk. These hospitals were so bad that the NHS said that they needed rebuilding, and they were so bad that within the next year there were 100 incidents of, the, of those hospitals falling, falling to bits around patients' heads. I mean, it sounds like you've put saving money ahead of patient safety. No, I'm not, I'm not sure you've sort of heard the answer I gave um, just a moment ago, which is we put in place £700 million for rack replacement. Uh, the NHS came forward but with that, a but long that is list now. I'm talking about hospitals. what happened three years uh, ago and why when these hospitals in. said, we need help now, they were told, well, we'll just do a bit more research, we'll put you on the back burner. No, the £700 million was put in place in 2021. It's a, a four-year programme of RAC replacement. It's already replaced the RAC uh, in three hospital schemes. Uh, it funded the two schemes of the seven coming into the new hospitals programme. Were... I just wonder what changed in those three years. I mean, they're, they're now on the list of, that's been graded catastrophic with a warning that an incident's likely and that patients are at risk of being evacuated. I mean, what would you say to those patients who are sitting there today who know that the government could have done something about this three years ago. Well, what changed was that we had the work commission from Mark McDonald. Quite often, RAC is in fairly concealed parts of a building. It may be in the, the roof structure. It requires further work in line with the Institute for Structural Engineers' advice. Although he is useless, at least he's not stood outside a hospital trying to claim it's a new hospital that's going to be built. I've come to West Suffolk Hospital, one of the 40 new hospitals that we're going to build. I've been... Yet he is no stranger to car crash interviews. And to see him fail badly, you'll need to watch the video that's on screen now. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.